What's up guys, Lifting here with Flashback League just around the corner. It's only fitting that you guys get some proper build suggestions to check out before the league starts. The builds featured in this video are all potentially great league starters with a low budget requirement and with nothing being too weird or too experimental, allowing for a safe transition into the league. And you can as always find a link to each individual build guide in the description below. The first build on the list is by S. Camera and it is a dual wielding Smite Cleave Marauder. The build is designed to be a solid Uberlap farmer while also having good mapping potential and enough damage to take on the very late game bosses. Having two Smite and a pacifism duel equipped effectively means that your maximum amount of frenzy charges is zero, which due to the Smite weapons provides the unique bonus of granting you tons of accuracy and crit multiplier as a powerful way to scale your overall damage. The build is played as the Juggernaut Ascendancy primarily for the amazing defensive utility, but also for the high amount of accuracy which on top of what the Arns might provide is enough to cover the endgame accuracy needs, while at the same time due to the undeniable keystone also providing massive amounts of attack speed based on your accuracy. Cleave is used as the main damage skill as it scales with the area of effect bonus of Arns might and together with the overwhelming odds duel, it practically provides a permanent fortify bonus as long as there is something to hit. This is a very solid build with a well-written build guide behind it. The second build on the list is a Blade Vortex Triple Herald Witch by Dirty Dot. It's played as the Elementalist Ascendancy for strong AoE and damage utility. This is gained especially through the AoE and generic damage increase of Pendulum of Destruction and also through the possibility of running three heralds and their respective 25% elemental penetration that Mastermind of Discord provides. Paragon of Calamity makes you reflect immune and gives you a bit of life sustain via the leech, and Leash of the Primordial allows you to run two golems for a total of 40% damage increase and 25% increased effect of the buffs that each golem provides. There's just a lot to be gained for this type of build by playing it as an elementalist. With this you will have good clear speed and great boss killing potential on a relatively manageable budget. And according to Dirty Dot, playing this as a solo self found character is also a very possible alternative if you prefer. The third build on the list is a two-handed Earthquake or Sunder Marauder. Depending on your own personal preference you can choose to go with either Earthquake or Sunder as your main skill and then use a Warchief Totem as secondary supplemental damage. Similar to Escamera's Arn's Might build, this one also has great uberlap farming potential due to the solid defenses that's gained via the Juggernaut Ascendancy. If you end up getting rich and at serious disfavor is your go-to endgame weapon for some amazing damage, but until then you can easily get away with an inexpensive 5 link rare or unique axe. This is a very straightforward melee build that is presented in a great manner, meaning you can't go entirely wrong with this as long as the playstyle is up to your liking, of course. Coming up fourth on the list is Brown 14's Dual Wield Swordmaster Duelist. With this, there is plenty of room for expensive gear to aim for, while still allowing you to start from a very acceptable budget, making it possible to use as a league starter. The build is very flexible, it uses Blade Flurry for single target, but for area clear, any one-handed melee sword skill can be used including Ice Crash, Lacerate or Cyclone. You can play this as either the Champion or Slayer Ascendancy, each providing their own unique buffs to the build, including the Overleech and Call from the Slayer, and the Perma Fortify plus the 100% chance to hit against taunted enemies from the Champion. This setup can pretty much do anything and allows for some powerful scaling via some of the recommended endgame items listed in the guide. The fifth and final build on the list is by Trudy Kampschafs and it's a take on the good old Barrage and Lightning Arrow setup. The build is played as the Slayer for those powerful Leech and Call bonuses I briefly mentioned just earlier. It has great map clear speed and good single target potential and it's rather cheap to get going. Lightning Arrow is your main clear skill and Barrage is used for single target. However, if you prefer, you can as an alternative to Lightning Arrow also use Ice Shot or Tornado Shot. Lightning Arrow and Barrage is by no means a new concept, but you often see it played as one of the Ranger Ascendancies, which typically grants a bit more speed. However, you are probably going to be a bit safer as the Slayer, 
That said, it's probably not that hard to change it over to one of the other ascendancies, if that's what you prefer. Those were the builds I wanted to show you today, guys. However, before we end, I highly suggest you also take a look at my 3.2 League Starter Build Showcase video, as those builds presented in that are also 100% viable for the Flashback League 2. The only reason they aren't in this video is to avoid presenting the same builds twice. I will leave a link for that video too in the description below. And so that's about it for this time's build showcase. If you like this type of content, then remember to subscribe for future videos. Visit me on Twitch for that live action. I also have a Patreon page in case you wish to support my work via that platform. And there's of course links to all of that below too. Thank you for watching and bros, you're the nerd.